Singapore, one of the world's most advanced economy, is yet again increasing its presence in the shipping industry. According to the World Bank, Singapore is the second busiest port just behind Ningbo Jiaoshan Port, where China's leading foreign trade happens. With the state of the current global world shifting to a more online presence, the need for shipments has been skyrocketing. This opportunity presents a better economic advantage to Singapore, as it holds such an important shipping lane. It is, in fact, that in the past, the wealth accumulated early on within the region was because Singapore hosted one of the world's most important seaport hubs. Today, however, the maritime industry presents several challenges to the world and Singapore in terms of technological advancement, labor shortages, and more. It is such a necessity to find innovative ways to navigate in the world we live in today. And that is why Singapore came out with a 20 billion Singaporean dollar massive plan to create the world's largest fully automated terminal. This is the Tuas Mega Port Project, Singapore's plan to lead the world's maritime industry. This grand infrastructure plan will be like no other. With automation being the key centerpiece, it is expected to be powered with 1,000 automated cranes and 1,000 driverless vehicles to ensure that it becomes as efficient as it can. There will even be state-of-the-art smart sensors to detect piracy products and the usage of data analytics to combat traffic congestions. To ensure that Singapore is targeting a green environment, it is incorporating the use of the Internet of Things or IoT to help deliver sustainable solutions. Singapore's government has also taken into account the need for better marine tech-focused businesses in its country, enough for it to justify a massive $15 billion framework for funding startups that operates in green, data processing, and cybersecurity companies. This investment will help businesses operating in Singapore to help with international transactions, as this is a port where there will be a lot of shipments, then the necessity to have good communication, good security, and efficient use of data is such a vital key point for the usage of this port. Cybersecurity is such an essential industry with the years to come, especially knowing that this infrastructure will be operated with the use of technology. It poses a risk for cyber attacks. Hence, Singapore's investment in better security is an excellent move. The size of Tuas Megaport will be twice that of Ang Mo Kio Newtown. This means that it will have a total capacity of over 65 million 20-foot equivalent units, which is more than the current 50 million capacity of current terminals combined. It will even have 8.6 kilometers of wharves and infrastructure to accommodate the world's largest container ships in the world. It will also construct 21 deepwater berths that will have the capacity to handle 20 million standard-sized container units a year. The estimated fully operational date of Tuas Megaport is still quite far away, which is the year 2040. The construction has started in 2015. However, this will be constructed into three phases. The first phase, which will have 294 hectares, and the second phase of about 387 hectares, both of which will be reclaimed land. The construction of the Tuas Megaport will increase Singapore's economy to a new level. It is known that over 7% of Singapore's overall GDP was because of the maritime sector, and even more so that it contributes to over 170,000 workers. With the creation of this megaport, even though it will take away several other jobs because of automation and artificial intelligence, it will create newer jobs for people who function in the technology world. This is especially important as Singapore is shifting to a more technology stance. Once the completion of Tuas Megaport has finished, it will finally end the long-running operations of the current PSA City Terminals and Pasir Panjang Terminal, which started way back in 1819. This means that Tuas will be the only port Singapore will have. Although they are ending the other ports, the massive structure of Tuas will obviously be big enough to accommodate the future. With Singapore's government targeting an increase of the industry by $4.5 billion and 5,000 new jobs by 2025. The contractors of Tuas come from a consortium of several giant companies. Some notably are that of Penta Ocean Construction, Hyundai Engineering and Construction, Boscalis International, and a few more international. To finish, we all know that the current pandemic has caused strains on the international supply chain and is expected to continue to operate in bottlenecks. This really sets Singapore into a brighter future, as it aims to accommodate the increasingly global shipment containers that sway around the world. Giant projects like this will undoubtedly have their own set of risks and challenges. One of the major challenges is China's Belt and Road Project, which will recreate how we see land connectivity and is a threat to shipping-focused products. Competition around Southeast Asia is also surfacing, as other countries are steadily growing and are set to have their own megaports.
but Singapore is a leading country. With that in mind, we know that they have the strategy to plan things ahead and stay ahead. One factor will be its future Terminal 5 of Changi Airport, which we have a separate video about. Don't forget to watch it after this. Anyway, what do you think about the 2S Megaport? Will it be Singapore's biggest opportunity to increase its global presence in the maritime industry, or does it present other challenges to its creation? Share with us your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to leave us a like and follow us for more amazing videos.